Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So I know most of you who follow my channel, this is not a mystery to you guys. My latest rank three incoming, all right? So I'm not gonna hold you. If you wanna guess in the comments, and I'm sure most of you already know who it's gonna be, leave a comment. Let me know who you think I'm about to take up, all right? But we're about to reveal it in five, Four, three, two, one. Big Daddy Apaco, you already knew that's who I was going to take up. Right now, there's a mutant advancement on, as well as a level up. It was like they knew that this is what I was meant to do. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, rank this bad boy up. Now, Apocalypse... When he first came into the contest, it was a new mechanic that we hadn't seen. He had the ability to make every mutant better by making them a horseman. All horsemen have certain abilities and attributes. And there was no restrictions. If you were a mutant, you could be a horseman. And that is what a lot of folks focused on. However, Apocalypse himself is actually a very powerful character. That's why you see a lot of folks taking him up, not just to rank three, but to rank four as well. Now, his awakened ability is trash as far as I'm concerned. All right, so let's see. We've got two rank up gems, so you already know. He gets one of them. He's worthy. He is way worthy. And I wonder if I'm going to have enough uh, mutant ISO. Nope, not going to have enough mutant ISO. Ooh, this is going to be uh, spicy. I'm trying to think. I don't want to use, I mean, I could. Um, but I, I do hate to use, uh, non-class ISO. Not that I have a big problem with, um, uh, ISO and, uh, gold. Cause that's really what you get hurt with is the gold. Uh, I can try opening up some, uh, crystals here. It is advancement. So all of it will give us, uh, points. Who would have thought I'd be opening up five stars just for ISO? Um, let's just pop them. And nope. No, um, no mutant. And I'll open up a few others. Uh, because we, we, we're gonna need, uh, mutant ISO. But more than likely, I'm just gonna use whatever ISO is there. And, uh, just get them up. see but any mutant iso that we get from here just saves us a little bit yeah a little, little few uh, uh mutant uh iso here but yeah i used a lot of mutant iso uh recently let's let's try some uh four stars here maybe we'll get lucky all right Let's see if we get a little bit lucky. Oh, yes. We did get some uh, mutant. All right. So that does help. That does help a little bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and we're not going to get a whole lot out of that. I could open up a bunch of premiums, but let's, let's not do that. I, I have tons of ISO already. All right. Let's uh let's continue and we will just use whatever ISO we have um to get this big boy up. It's not something that I, I often do, but um he's worth it. Alright, so let's keep going here. But yeah, the uh uh Big Daddy Apaco. Let's see, did I oh because I did the other. Alright, you know what? Let's just clear it out. 
and uh, use them like that. Um, but Big Daddy Apaco is a powerful champion in his own right. And I find myself using him not just for his ability to make uh, horsemen, but because he's legit good and he's powerful. Um, definitely uh, one of, if not the best champ they released in uh, 2020. So, <clears throat> look at that. Soaked it right on up. All right, so now we're just going to um, see. Reset that. Oh no, I can't. I can't bring myself to use those uh, small ones. Uh, so let's let's um, let's grab the big boys. At least, you know, and um, that'll help us out a little bit here. And let's grab some of these guys here. All right, so now he is rank two. And without further ado, our latest rank three is Big Daddy Apaka. Welcome to the team. All right, so we got a good chunk of the way there. Um, but yeah, normally I don't do this and I don't recommend it unless you have no other choice because uh, you're, you're really wasting gold. So if you have a gold shortage, uh, then I would say don't do this. Um, that's why you don't normally see me using the gray ISO because I always have enough of the, uh, class ISO and I like to kind of save my gold. But as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of problem with gold. I just opened up, uh, a ton of, um, crystals, battle chips, as you can see are low. And you see, I almost had, uh, or I had a little over uh, 200 million gold. So not, not that hurt for gold. Uh, so I don't mind doing this, but I don't recommend you guys do this if you have problems with gold. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm just using the big ones and, and going this way so that it's a little bit faster. Um, all right, there we go. And that is Big Daddy Apaco. He does not need to be awakened, by the way. Um, as I said earlier, his awakened ability um, is trash to me. All right, let's let's uh, let's take a look at Apocalypse. Real briefly, we're not going to go into him uh, too deep, but you can see here, um, he's got some good stats here. You know, Brock Proficiency combined with the armor rating is decent. Critical Resistance. All of that makes him a bit tanky, you know. Um, he's got some good synergies here. A synergy with himself, of course. My favorite synergy is this one right here. Your fate is mine uh, because of the Cable synergy. It makes Cable a beast. And it starts Apocalypse off with four charges. So after one fight, he can make a horseman because he needs four of his charges to make a horseman. All right. And you can see the others here. They're not bad. This one also is one of my favorites with Wolverine. He is my favorite champion to make a horseman. Uh, now, that's partly because I just like Wolverine. He's one of my favorites in Marvel, you know, right down under Hulk. Hulk is the number one. But Wolverine and Spider-Man are my uh, second favorite champions in all of Marvel. All right. So, all right. We're going to, I need to do a little bit of uh, grinding. I'm still going for uh, Icarus as a five star and I need to finish it up. But we'll be back and I'll take him into Realm of Legends and we'll play around with him and you'll see 
uh, the damage he can do and uh, some of the other features that I like about him, uh, like the ability to go immune to a certain damage. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, before we go into Realm of Legends, I'll just show you the synergies that I have active here. Uh, this is the team I'm going in with. Uh, Apocalypse has, of course, a synergy uh, with himself. Gain 15% attack rating for each mutant. And you'll notice that I have all mutants on the team. Uh, then we've got this synergy with Cable. That synergy I will almost always bring when I use Apocalypse. It is such a good synergy. He starts out with four genetic code from the first fight. Lovely. And it also makes Cable a beast. And it doesn't need uh, any of his uh, codes. It's just a synergy. It's awesome. Then I brought in uh, Magneto. Back in the day, uh, I remember using uh, Magneto a lot in synergies. And that's why I originally took him to rank four that was before his buff. And of course now he is a beast and welcome on any team. So we've got uh, more critical damage rating and the special attacks gain 12%, okay? Um, and that's why we have uh, Omega Red on the team. And then this one here, I heard about it. I didn't know about it, but I heard about it and I wanted to test it out. So. Um, it's this one right here. So activating a special attack, one or two, increases the potency of personal burst damage by 25%. So every time you fire a special one or a special two, it gives you a 25% boost. And it stacks up to 300. 300%. Uh, percent. All right, so... Let's get on in here and uh, let's play around, see what we got. Uh, this isn't a deep dive into Apocalypse. Uh, I don't know necessarily the best way uh, to play him. Strategy here is going to be to build up to almost a special three and then launch a nice little special two, followed by a special one. And we'll see what the damage looks like. Okay, so we got a special two, but I want to be able to fire a special one off uh, right after it. All right, so we'll do this. There we go. Nice special two. Look at that damage. Special one. That damage. Mm. Refresh all the debuffs. Another special one. And the fight's over. Just that easy. That is amazing. Love it, man. 63 hits, and it was a quick fight. So that's going to do it for the showcase of Apocalypse. Hopefully you see the damage. Uh, we didn't go into all of his other abilities, like he can go immune to bleed. Uh, he can go immune to incinerate. Uh, he can go immune to being evaded. Uh, so he has a lot of utility, but he also has a lot of damage. Now, I was running Suicides. Uh, and, of course, I had the Synergy team uh, to back him up as well. But hopefully you can see his potential and why a lot of folks chose Apocalypse out of that 2020 crystal if they didn't already have him. He is a beast. Big Daddy Apaco. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.